When the first to identify the issue, he says, well, being the founder and the director, but of the bridges. And bridges uh, is a foundation uh, that has a principal objective to, um, here in Europe and elsewhere, I think also in the United States, and so to um, combat misconceptions. Hmm? Now, as we, together with the organization, decided to stop at 9.30. Maybe at 9.30 we go to bed. This, as we decided to do that, we start immediately the discussion. So the floor is up to you, to you, but you want to say something? Yes, please. Yeah, he wants to say something, and so first, but at 9.30 we stop, eh? Good. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming. And uh, before we start the discussion, let me tell you that uh, I myself in, uh, is a, a survivor of 9-11. And this is maybe the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing right now, uh, even though I'm an engineer. But uh, since 9-11, and I'm doing this, correcting the image of Islam to non-Muslims. And I would like to open the floor for questions, but before asking any question, I would like to warn you that Muslims believe that there's no weaknesses in Islam whatsoever. And this means that no question is offensive for us. Just open your heart and throw on us any question that you have or you have, or maybe you have read about Islam or heard about Islam. There is nothing as so-called uh, this question is improper or impolite. Let me not ask it. No, please. We, um, we appreciate so much that uh, you came here and we will appreciate more any question to be given to us. Thank you. Okay. My role is to run with the microphone. If you have a question. So let's start. First question. I have not run. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, we can give a volunteer this, sir, to do it. Yeah, because every time you run, you will lose like 50 calories or something. I'm a jogger. Okay. So uh, I have two questions, one Muslim question and one non-Muslim question. So the Muslim question is, you mentioned in your movie that the Kharij are terrorists, or the very first known terrorists to Muslims, yet as to my humble knowledge, they are a bit rebellion, rebellions, or the very first rebellions in the Islamic history. So, so this is the Muslim question? This is the Muslim question. Okay, so give me the non-Muslim question. That definitely it's a huge debate. The second question is <coughs> about a hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi and it's again the cut and paste uh, context, mm. so I was looking for the complete context. And he says that uh, I was sent to you uh, with a sword in my hand, and I was asked to fight people until they say there is no God but Allah and I'm his messenger. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's start with the Muslim question first. I never said that the Kharijites or the Khawarij are terrorists, but I said this is the history of extremism. This is how extremism started. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, foretold that soon after he dies, extremism will appear. And those, this group of people, they, they didn't have any um, problem killing people whom they differ with them on their opinions. And this is the beginning of, of extremism. So we didn't call them terrorists, but <laughs> they can be called terrorists too, actually, since they, they used to kill innocent people uh, to push a political agenda. And that's what we were trying to do in the beginning of the film, to define terrorism. What is terrorism? And we found that there, there will be, or we found that there are so many definitions or people trying to define it because we, we couldn't uh, imagine that until today the biggest crime, which is terrorism, that all countries are uh, warning youth from falling into it, it's not defined yet. Yeah, can you imagine that 150 presidents and monarchs are meeting for two days in a summit in the United Nations in 2005 
trying to define terrorism. After two days, they came out saying, they came out without a definition, saying there's no need to define terrorism because everyone knows what terrorism is. And this is not the reason. The reason is, had they defined terrorism, half of them have to go to jail. Half of them have to be in jail. Because when we went to uh, political scientists and to international law professors, some of them were very precise on the saying, no, you cannot call it killing innocent people because what if someone targeted some innocent people and no one was killed but some were injured? So the word killing is not precise. It should be targeting. So targeting uh, civilians, some of them said, no, civilians is not also a precise word because some civilians can be legitimate targets if they are armed. This is, these are called militia. So he said, targeting non-combatants. So it is, what if someone kills his wife? This is a crime, but it's not terrorism. Why? Because there's no political agenda involved. So we found that the best definition is targeting non-combatants to push a political agenda. And that's what the Khawarij were doing also. Okay, so this is dealing with the Muslim question. With the non-Muslim question actually, well this uh, hadith, and the word hadith means tradition of Prophet Muhammad or as saying Prophet Muhammad, he never said uh, that uh, I am going to attack anyone. But he said fight. And the word fight actually is also, it can also be mentioned for those who defend themselves. And it is known that Prophet Muhammad did not start a fight ever. Actually, uh, he was fought against for 14 and a half years. The Prophet Muhammad and the Muslims were fought against and they were tortured. And the first martyr in Islam was not a man, she was even a woman. She's called Lady Sumaya, and she was jabbed by a spear in her private parts. So the Muslims were tortured, the Muslims were uh, killed, and for 14 and a half years they were told nothing but be patient, be patient, be patient. And then at a certain point they were told a verse in the Quran that says permission has now been given to those who were fought against that they can fight back and defend themselves because they were wronged. So when the Prophet says that I'll be fighting, it doesn't mean that he'll be attacking anyone, but rather fighting back those who fought. And it's a piece of news that the fight will end by the Arabs uh, 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 accepting Islam. But it's not that I'll be fighting them, and the only thing that will, that will make me stop is that they uh, become a Muslim because he lived with non-Muslims and he until the last day he was having uh, relations with non-Muslims working with them business with them too okay any other question yes um, here there's a question There, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Oh,